I'm Jordan Brickman. Uh, before I came to like know and follow Christ, uh, my life wasn't the best. Um, I guess it pretty much started with childhood. I went to church every now and then. Uh, we would go like a couple Sundays and then it would just die off and then go a couple Sundays and then die off. And then eventually like once middle school or high school hit, there was just no more church. Had a hard life, I guess. Uh, I grew up with my stepdad. Um, my dad wasn't around when I was a child, biological father. Uh, ran away once he found out my mom was pregnant. So he was introduced back to my life probably when I was like 11. See him like once or twice a year. And then at the age of 14, that's when my mom sat me down. And once she sat me down, she's already crying. So I knew it was about, uh, my dad uh, took his own life. Thoughts like that just makes you wonder like, was it me? So anyways, um, once that had happened, it was kind of like down from there. Uh, started experimenting with drugs throughout high school. Uh, you name it, I probably did it. Uh, and then once I kind of did enough, I figured I can make money from this. So started selling them. I just treated women poorly as well. Uh, I didn't see them as value. I just used them to my own advantage. Uh, eventually, meeting Joanna. Um, kind of found myself and I was like, I can't be a better man. And honestly, I was a boy and I couldn't be a man that I wanted to be, so I broke things off with her just because I knew she was more valuable than the way I would treat her. Looking back on it, it was probably God speaking to me, telling me that's my life, don't throw it away. So I chased her. <laughs> uh, luckily for me, got her back. Ended up meeting Jeffrey Fuqua and just associating with them and the Nelsons and then going out to uh, a Sunday service, uh, not at this church yet, but went out to Sunday service with them. And then somebody who had a pass and it, I could resemble to it, not fully, but there was some things in there that just clicked. And I felt like his message was like directly pointed at me. And so being there hearing that, it was like, okay, what are the odds, right? Like there's no more coincidences, this can't be it. Like this has to be God saying, this is it. The only way to that path is to realize that Jesus Christ was my Lord and Savior. And so when he had asked at that time for people to come up and accept Jesus, uh, he asked a couple times and it finally took that last time, this is it, and I, I went up there. And that's when I decided to accept Christ into my life. Uh, so I asked Jeffrey, he mentioned uh, that he came here to Wells Branch Community Church and invited me out. Uh, Fortunately, uh, you know, I just came out by myself just due to Joanna being unable to with work and all. So I came out, I uh, was scared at first, and, but immediately like just walking up, seeing everyone, uh, smiling, all friendly, knowing each other, not kind of in their own personal bubble like most churches, uh, was just a sign that this was the right place. Uh, this was home. Uh, so just coming to that first Sunday service and then seeing Pastor Pleck, um, uh, speak that day and do the service. It, it was, it just felt right being here. And so doing my best to come here consistently every Sunday after that, as long as I could, I was here and just constantly coming here, connecting with uh, people. It just, it felt great. It felt home. Um, I look forward to this like every day. <laughs> So after accepting Christ, my life just immediately felt like, like I was just given a second chance. Like life was brought back. Uh, there was no more of just thinking there was nothing after death. There was no more of just treating people, uh, using them to my advantage. It was, I have a purpose. 
there's something after life and I need to do everything I can in this life to follow Jesus, uh, make it a better world around me that I have an opportunity to do that. I have an opportunity to change other people's lives and not just my own or Joanna's, but we can grow and then hopefully help others uh, find their path as well. Uh, that we're not here tombed uh, to just live and then die, really. My name's Jordan Brickman. I believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for my sins and rose from the dead, and today I'm getting baptized.